Do you want to do this for me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bub. Hi, I'm Heather. I'm the director of product development at Jerry's Artorama, and I wanted to talk to you guys about the Painter's Color Diary. I originally came out with the Painter's Color Diary for oil and acrylic paints, and then I was working in the studio and realized, hey, we should do this in watercolor. I use all mediums, and while the Painter's Color Diary is perfect for acrylic and oil paints, there are so many other media that artists could be using. So using 100% cotton rag watercolor paper for the same, with the same type of layout made it perfect not just for watercolors, but also for gouache, for water-soluble pencils, water-soluble crayons, water-soluble oil pastels, soft pastels. Basically, any media other than oil paint is perfect for the watercolor painter's color diary. One difference between the watercolor diary versus the original painter's color diary is the layout. So the original diary had a vertical 9 by 12 layout and the watercolor version has a horizontal layout. The reason for this is because if you're working in watercolor, you're more likely to want to show that one stroke gradation with your paints. But again, you can still use this with many different mediums and you can use that swatch layout in a number of different ways whether you're trying to show the transparency, show different mixes, um, show water-soluble colored pencils, you can fill the square in with a color and show that pencil dry versus wet. Really, the possibilities are endless on how you want to use your color diary. Now, the main difference between the watercolor version versus the original is, of course, the paper. The watercolor version is using 100% cotton rag watercolor paper. Now, why 100% cotton? It's the most archival paper, so if you're using these as notes that you're going to be storing for a long time, you know that your notes are going to hold up. On top of that, you can use these to create dot cards and travel with them, so your paper becomes like a palette. With 100% cotton, that paper is a lot stronger and can hold up to a lot more um, wetting and re-wetting and scrubbing, so you can use that paper over and over again. Each painter's color diary comes with 10 sheets of 100% cotton watercolor paper with the template, as well as 10 sheets of glycine interleafing. The glycine is there to protect your paint swatches and keep them from transferring. When I was creating the template for the painter's color diary, I, I really wanted it to be a good guide, but I didn't want it to be so specific that people felt, you know, kind of boxed in on how they were supposed to use it. So I know how I use mine and what works for me, but I'm really interested to know how other artists are using their color diaries and how they're keeping track of their paint swatches. So use hashtag painterscolordiary and show me how you're using your diary. 